changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. My parents forced me to do in fact, they wanted me to be a scientist. Mm -hmm. So in my first degree, I mm -hmm. did I did microbiology mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And after then, I went ahead. I did physics electronics. What? And in the course of doing physics electronics, I, I fell in love with ICT. So after physics electronics, I went in again for the ICT. I did the CCNA. Wow. And this one, this one is for you. And I did all this. For you? The, the first two I did for them. The second one I started taking it for myself. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Butter Battle Show. We discover exactly what you love. What I love. What you see, I, I have this belief that um, when you give it. When you give your passion, mm -hmm. like when you invest your passion into your calling, you easily succeed. Mm -hmm. That's my understanding. Okay. So I discovered also uh, from my parents, mm -hmm. I found out from them that uh, when I was growing up, uh, Bobby's one of that child I used to love fashion so much. I used to dress with my socks, my sandals, oh, and wow. tuck in my hand and sleep cross leg like this so that the glue would not uh, run for just wow. so the first thing in the morning I woke up like that. <laughs> my God. So Crazy. the reason I I, I had to invest in, in the Amelia Creatives. And all that stuff. Wow. So he, if I was not singing, mm -hmm. I believe I would have seen and my life in singing. Okay. Because it has been a family thing. So if you if you weren't singing, you would still be singing. <laughs> I feel that. On that note now, I'm looking at your your life as a person and growing up with the kind of father that you have, the kind of parents that you have, disciplinarian and people who are really into the word of God and the work of God. What would be the best advice you've ever gotten as a gospel music minister? Um, I don't wish my father is not watching this part. I wish he's not watching. Why this not? My parents are not watching this part. But if they are watching, well, mm -hmm. I love you. you know? <laughs> I love you very well. But somehow, in the physical world, mm -hmm. I would say, man, growing up with the kind of parents that I have, mm -hmm. you need a special grace. Wow. To, uh, wow. To uh, grow with them. Okay. And one of the best advice that you ask mm -hmm. I've gotten so far is um, leave it for God. That's deep, you know. Serious. That's deep. Leave it for God. I have found myself in a situation where I, 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 I took some. I wanted to take some action. Uh, drastic. Not just drastic. Uh, some action that. Um, uh, maybe I will not be sitting down here today wow. to talk about it. Uh, but the simple word, the simple line was just leave it for, for God. God. Mm. Man, it's not easy to leave it for God. Oh. Uh, sometimes, right? I tell you. Sometimes. <laughs> you you gotta keep it real, man, because sometimes, <laughs> man. But at the end of the day, I, 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 think I see the need. I, I have to leave everything for God. for God. Because He knows everything. Maybe I would have just killed somebody. Wow. But you see, God. Wow. God taking care of that particular, you know, incident that I, I wanted to take a decision mm -hmm. is better. Than you taking it. Uh, because I would I would have just killed the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God did it for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. He did it his way. And you were happy about it. No, I'm happy. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby. We live in a very competitive world, especially in the entertainment industry. And gospel music ministry is not an exception of course. in this matter. Everybody is competitive. Everybody wants to have the hit song, the best song, every go, the singing my song. How have you been able to manage to stay focused, stay relevant in a competitive 
industry like ours? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I'm not competing with anybody. The best person I'm competing with is myself. That's right. That's right. That's for me. If I wanted to compete with people, I know what to do. Mm. But I've said, let's go to Foley where we have space. Let's mm. start running. But I decided not to compete with anybody. anybody. Because there was some day when God called them. Mm. And I'm very sure none of them were there. They were God called me. That's right. So everybody has their path. That's right. You have their time, you need to That's arrive. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you follow your time, you know exactly where you're going to. Mm -hmm. And exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So the, the need of competing with anybody is not there. So now, generally, life, the way we look at it, is, is a bit competitive. Mm -hmm. It's like that. That's right. And it can be so um, discouraging when you see your mates. Mm -hmm. They have done this, they have done, done that, that, they have done that. I remember back then when I was in Enugu, mm -hmm. uh, when from Edward, for instance, came up and um, uh, we were still in school then. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I, I said as one of the students that uh, union leaders and that, uh, most of those guys used to come to me and like, okay, I can, I'm, I'm not afraid to say this. I, I, I then, uh, uh, what's his name? Flavor, uh -huh. uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what's his name? If I could remember their name, Flavor, um, Smile, mm -hmm. um, Chidi Marusa. Those guys used to come to me like, um, so I was I was in charge of the mm -hmm. entertainment thing, the school. So they might just walk up, but okay, just call my name. I can just sing one song. That was wow. I just want to sing. Wow. Do you understand? Wow. But you know, when I come back, I'm like, these guys are up there. Mm -hmm. It, and was, you who was leading your leading year. Like, it like I was the boss. Like yeah. It's always called boss. That's boss, right. That's boss. right. So, That's right. It made me somehow we're thinking, man. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I understand everybody has a time. Down time. So, but when you look at those things, it will make you feel like you need to step it up. You need to step it up and meet up. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, when I understand my calling, mm -hmm. I decide to work on my part. Mm -hmm. And my pants is very small because That's I have right. Christ. That's very right. small. I don't have issues. And you're comfortable. So I do the right things to keep me where I am and exactly where I'm going to. Okay. Let me ask you this. What do you think from your own perspective? What is one thing that you see in the gospel music industry that is wrong and you could do anything, if you could do anything to change it? What would that be? Very smartly, one of the things I would love to do is to put myself in the position where I can make changes. Mm. Okay. Because sometimes you feel like making changes, but because you're not in that position, you can do changes, so you can't do certain things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to be smart thing I would have done if I had the opportunity is that I will not allow everybody to see. Why? Why not? I mean, after all, the Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> There's a difference between making a joyful noise and just making noise. No. Okay, I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Because while I was in Sunday school, or in school back then, everybody, everybody made noise. Mm -hmm. oh, they did that in the name of noisemakers. This is not just stand up and sing. Mm -hmm. As in gospel music, mm -hmm. you should understand that you are called, called to, do to do it. Gotcha. So, you would just wake up one morning, you wear three quarters like a whistle, mm -hmm. mm, your trousers, put red rose like I'm wearing mm -hmm. as well, wear half jacket, and the next thing is I'm a music minister. Mr. And they will add praise to their names. I wish they should be adding worship to their names. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is just go out there and start singing, mm -hmm. singing whatever thing they like, mm -hmm. and um, causing a whole lot of confusion. Gotcha. I'm making it um, look as if um, um, we're just making noise around us. Around here. That's the truth. So one thing I will do is to make sure that I give each other, I said, the five people who sing. Gotcha. Before you get up to the altar, I said, five people who sing. So that's what kind of like you was saying, that that's one thing in the industry that you would change because a lot of people are not yes. qualified to sing on the altar. In the eyes of men. <laughs> 
But in the eyes of God, no, 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 I'm coming in the eyes of men, and I want to believe that if God has given us the power to understand which, which one is good, which one is not good, then mm. it's God that is acting because you can't see God, it is man, the man that you're saying, right? Yes, yeah, so when you do wrong, we understand that you're wrong. <laughs> Bobby Frigga, God bless <laughs> his soul. But anyway, Bobby, how would you feel that the internet, or what do you feel that the internet has impacted positively? On the music business. Well, thank God they just use the word positively. Because mm -hmm. else I would have said we have two sides of it. <laughs> the side of it and the positive side of it. So, okay. positively, yes, it has really helped. Mm -hmm. And because uh, today, when we sit down in the city of uh, a quiet woman and reach out to the world without mm -hmm. traveling to America, already if you, if you go to US, like you normally travel, you discover that Africa is actually living in the US right mm -hmm. now. Because um, I, 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 my music, has a very good uh, presence in the US, mm -hmm. especially in the Aqua Cross um, community. See? So, internet has really helped positive. Mm -hmm. the, presently, um, the world has moved out from where it used to be. It's not a global war. Mm -hmm. You can see the world inside your, your palm. Arms. You know, so, so, internet has really, really helped in spreading the gospel, That's right. has helped in reaching out to people and, mm -hmm. and spreading the gospel. So, it's, it's, it's Perfect for me. Okay. It's perfect for me. What we're talking about what's going on in the system right now, and of course this is worldwide, and we're talking about rape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think, from your own perspective, mm. that gospel music can lead to rape, or this could be something that could be misdone, this misdeed, misconstrued, something could just go off that could yes. lead to somebody being raped? I have two answers to that. Okay. The true gospel of the true gospel music should lead a man to Christ mm -hmm. and to God, not to rape. Okay. And just like I said before, one of the things I would have changed is for those that are making noise. Mm -hmm. God, the one who made gospel music lead some people to rape. Mm -hmm. And um, if if I want to say it mm -hmm. this way, okay, um, serving as a the leader mm -hmm. for gospel music ministers around my region, mm -hmm. around my city, mm -hmm. has put me in a place where I, I have so many cases of my terror. Mm -hmm. And um, but for the fact that we lack proper information, proper awareness, mm -hmm. uh, most of the things have been put under the carpet. carpet. What do you think could possibly lead to rape though in gospel? Yeah. yeah. What would make somebody who is tongue speaking, rapture ready, t shirt wearing, sticker sticking, rape somebody in church? You know, a lot of people are, 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 are possessed by demonic forces. Mm, Some okay. things they do. Mm -hmm. Some things they do, you look at it and understand that this is not really, really from God. Okay. God will never send anybody to rape. Mm -hmm. But like, I, like I, I had a talk today, I said, if the anointed, are busy touching the unanointed. Mm. What will the general man do, an ordinary man do, mm -hmm. that is that is not anointed? Mm -hmm. If the anointed are actually touching mm. the unanointed, <laughs> what will the general <laughs> man do? Are you are you being politically correct concerning <laughs> rape here, or are you just trying to be religiously correct? Because I really want to get your views and your perspective on this whole issue of raping of people yes. in churches, most in times, ministries. Well. Most times, you will see a young lady mm -hmm. who says she's a music minister, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, they come out with story that oh, I was raped. Mm -hmm. I was raped mm -hmm. and I was raped and I asked simple question how did it happen mm -hmm. and some of the things I, I get out of it is that um, uh, the way you present yourself mm -hmm. to your host mm -hmm. matters a lot a lot okay matters a lot when you present yourself as a music minister, minister. the God that you serve mm -hmm. has a way of protecting you okay but when you present yourself as a free young lady. So how do you present yourself as a music minister? This yes, now? yes, it's very easy. Uh, it says that uh, by your fruits we shall know them. Okay. By the things you do, okay. by the music you sing, and by the character that you possess, okay. it tells someone about your personality. Okay. 
So that lead back to what I said, if I have an opportunity, I would have deleted a whole lot of people out from this <laughs> music ministry who claims to be music minister. Okay. The, the truth is that some of them actually will, will lay off people to these things that happen. Okay. But that doesn't give anybody the right, the right to rape anybody. To rape anybody. Okay, I just wanted you to say that because I mean, there was just for me, there is just no justification. And I'm sure a lot of people in the world also share my sentiments. Yes. There's actually no justification, there is just no allowance, there is no acceptable view, or there's just nothing that you would tell me that a woman could possibly do that would warrant or trigger a man to rape them. Uh, and with that being but, but, said, but, but, um, uh, 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 let me get it right. Okay, you know very well that. Women mm -hmm. who are in ministry, mm -hmm. who has the power mm -hmm. to host mm -hmm. a music minister, mm -hmm. they also rap. Of course, when I'm talking about rape, Bobby, I am talking about rape generally, but male and female. I am very aware that male or a man could also actually be sexually abused or could actually be raped and forced to do what they don't want to do with a woman sexually. And sometimes money is involved, sometimes position is involved, sometimes promotion is involved. So because of um, that. Well, if you have been harassed too many times. Oh, really? Yes. Well, Bobby, you know what? Me and you would be in the same show because I was raped at five, <laughs> eight, and 13. Oh. And so I'm passionate about That's that beautiful. Topic. You were up to five and 18. Well, you should ask 13. me. Oh, that's beautiful. You should ask me as a young child. Uh -huh. You see, the problem is that, um, um, uh, uh, say, but mm. I got kicked up. Mm. I do with you. Mm. And you want to say that mm -hmm. You don't see me like a About what? About what? The nature of a man is not to shout. Mm -hmm. God has given us the power to contain so many things. Yes, that's right. Do you understand? That's right. If I want to share things that has happened to you, that has happened to me, that's uh, yes, fine. If not that, um, uh, 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 well, I'm look at the other way. I would have said that I was rap as well. Mm. Yes. No, what would say? What would you say? You were. I mean, if you were, you were. Okay. We're talking about rape here, and it's better for us to share experiences to people out there in the world because a lot of people, even in the industry that we find ourselves today, probably are going through the same thing. Or I've gone through the same thing, and they don't talk about it. And if you go to my website, I talk about. I've written about the fact that I was actually sexually abused at five. 8 and 13 and even as an adult and as a married woman some people will come at me the wrong way and I don't find that funny because when I remember the things the, the stigmatization the pain the things that were said to me when these things occurred it hurts that even at this age somebody would say me blessed as God has blessed me would even try to sexually abuse me in any kind of way well I think I mean all of this um, in my opinion mm -hmm. uh, which is exactly what uh, God has used you to do right now mm -hmm. is creating um, um, a positive awareness That's right. and um, if I have powers I will make it as a law that the church mm -hmm. should take a responsibility mm -hmm. let's not shy away from talking about sex, sex in, in the, the church, church. I like that. I, I, you really find a pastor preach about sex in the church. They like really that. say it out. I like so that. it is one of the things that has really affected us because most of us we are church people. Mm -hmm. We are religious people. We all Especially grow up, from this time. Exactly. We grew up from this foundation. Mm -hmm. And all the, everything that has been put on us is likely coming out from where we come from. from. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. If sex is officially and openly preach on the altar. Mm -hmm. I tell you this. Uh, for instance, I, I think I'm, I'm working on a project that I, I lead a campaign of mm -hmm. a, a true worship pastor rape. Mm -hmm. True worship pastor rape. Of course they don't. So if we talk about this in the church, mm -hmm. it's going to help and reduce the level of certain things that are that happening. That is going on in the church. And of course... So that's why when they see Princess of Father Bible, they're talking about sex and... Uh, some people see and make it look like um, she's not of God. It's a tough And I ask a simple question, who created sex? God. Did any man create sex? No. God did. It is God that did it. And some people have abused it. So I, I, I appreciate you for the courage that um, you don't look at anybody's face and you say it the way it is. Mm -hmm. That's the truth about it. I've said this before now. I said this. So if people, if pastors mm -hmm. will boldly come out and say this, uh, trust me, a whole lot of things would change. It would surely change.
Action be changed. So from here on, what's next for you? What you want yeah. any new projects, music? Hey, what's next for you? I have a lot of projects. One of the projects is that 2020 was supposed to be a year of settling down for Bobby Frida. Wow. But uh, really? I'm, I'm not giving up for I'm not giving up for COVID nineteen. I want to believe that God knows better. So he it? knows how he's, he's, he's going to program it and where the lucky woman is. Okay. Going to look at her by this way. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that we have racism, tribalism in the industry? Do yes, we have. Why do you say that? And yes. how do you, okay, yes we do. So how do we change that? Um I don't think it will change. You don't think so? Yes, I don't think it will change. But how can we do something that could help enhance us positively to be of encouragement? to other people. You see, sometimes um, when a husband wants to raise his hand mm -hmm. on the wife, one of the things that could make it very easy or could stop him mm -hmm. is if the woman is smart enough to raise her mm -hmm. voice. Yes, that's a don't. Don't. So, for a while now, we have racism and tribalism in the music ministry generally. Okay. And we have not really given it attention mm -hmm. to is growing very wide okay. and very deep and the time is now that we have to raise our voice mm -hmm. most times people in the west really play songs from this region they really yes wow i grew up in the east i okay. spent most of my time in the east and the things i'm telling you are mm -hmm. the physical experience usual that's why i intentionally sing in your local I time. I do songs that I have my language in it. In, in it. Okay. I intention, because these are the things I used to experience. Okay. And I've been experiencing till today. I've been in the church outside of my home that they said, don't invite me singing, bum, 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 bum. So kind of like people are just looking down from the, looking down on people from this side. Some people, not everybody. Yes. Does. So that means that people from this side of the divide have to make sure that when they go to other places to minister, they are also ministering in their language to encourage the usage of and course. acceptance of, of the kind of music so that they are doing. As, I take it as well. I intentionally do it. <laughs> so make sure you change that. Yes. Well, I have to ask you this question because it's a production question for the production crew. Well, Male tend to be celebrated. The male, you know, of course, the music ministers or men tend to be celebrated a whole lot. Then the women, when we come into the industry or when they come into the industry, they the men, the men who want to host the women in churches or in some kind of gospel event, always more than likely want to have something sexual to do with the female artist. Why do you think that is so? And how can we change that? Uh, men are not always an over celebrated. Really? They work. They work to be celebrated? They work a lot. Okay. That's the truth. Men right. work a lot. Okay. I, I, I had this um I had this issue of like I I was thinking within me, I said, if they ask me now, Bobby, come and bring bring uh, twenty singers for instance mm -hmm. from uh, the city of Aquaibo. Mm -hmm. uh, when I look at my list, I will see mail from top. Mm -hmm. Almost to the down. Mm -hmm. You really see women. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy today because back then, mm -hmm. women used to believe that oh, a man has to do everything for them. For them. That's right. A man, a man should take me to the studio to record my song. Mm -hmm. A man should go around to shoot my video and all that. Do so you blame them? Hey, well, I'm coming to the point. But I'm happy today that the women that we have this day mm -hmm. stood up for themselves. Okay. Okay. And today we have Princess Pada Babio. Hey. She stood up for herself. That's right. Always. Hey. Your husband that I know is a very busy man. He may not have that time to take you to the studio and, and do all that. So no. the talents, the gift in you would have been a dead thing. That's right. But because you stood up for yourself, that's, that's right. why you are here. That's right. So first, we make sure you standing up for themselves. Okay. When you stand up for yourself, mm -hmm. then the helping hand will come. come. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Now, hosting and um, the sexual part the of sexual it. The sexual part of it. Well, uh, I think that has to do with an individual. Okay. A useless man is a useless man. Word. Word. It doesn't matter if you went to Cambridge University or whatever. Word. Even the element of a Word. I hear that. Word. I hear that. So, a man that wants to sleep with a woman will still do that, because whether he's a pastor or not a pastor. <laughs> If you like speak in tongue, he will shut you down speaking in tongue and say he wants to sleep with you. Oh my goodness, yes. 
Do you understand? Yeah. So now the responsibility now is in the hands of the woman. Mm -hmm. Which is like saying your destiny is in your, your hands. So grab it. What do you want? Mm, for yourself. I like that. So Bobby, we've been talking about gospel music ministry and we are about to wrap up on this particular episode. Thank you so much for coming on the show. But before I go, one more question. Your closing thoughts. How can we make music ministry more attractive, better? How do you encourage other people to be a part of what we are doing in the great future that we see ahead of us? Okay. Um, let me start by appreciating you first. Thank because you. what you just did now Thank you. is one of the things that we need to do. Mm. We have to create things beyond seeing. Mm. We have to create platforms for ourselves. Mm. We have to create our state. Mm. Just beyond seeing. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. By doing all this, we have expanded. It is encouraging. It helps mm. us grow. And it makes the future very easy for us to step in there. Mm -hmm. But when we go, we keep sitting down, closing our legs, and waiting for someone to create a platform somewhere there, but and you will go begging, you go begging. One platform will not be able to come mm -hmm. down on the one <laughs> And the sky is it's picking so up wide. for everyone, everyone. to fly so in. Everybody stand up and do something about it. Thank you so much, Bobby Frigger, for coming. We really do appreciate you here on set. And thank you, as my brother, for supporting yeah. my craft at every point in time. There you are, viewers. After all is said and done, as a music minister, you have to be mindful of what you say, what you do, and how you do it, how you treat other people, bearing in mind that you will be remembered only by what you have done. Don't forget that everybody has a right to worship God the way that they understand God to be. And in the end, while you are so judgmental about what should be, what could be, what is, why this way, remember, everyone is accountable to God when all is said and done. And you owe yourself a responsibility to freedom of worship as allowed by the constitution of whichever part of the country that you live in. And that is changing minds, changing attitude. Until I come again, on another episode, I am Princess Pats at Pabu. Do take care of yourself. Bye bye for now. Perspectives, things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Changing minds, changing Attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Show some love. Hold each other's hands. In confidence, we'll make the world a better place. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Patapato Show.